Hello, this is Reza Rad from Radacat. In this video, I'm going to talk about custom theme in Power BI, how you can change colors, fonts, uh, visualization appearance for all of the pages, all of the visuals in simple few steps using Power BI themes. Let's check it out. Let's say I have a page like this and I want to apply some customization. In Power BI, whenever you want to apply some customization, you can always go to the format tab and there are lots of customizations you can do there such as colors, uh, labels, font style. You can customize anything you like, but you have to customize it for every single visual. What if you want, for example, all visuals in all pages to follow the same format for example you want to uh, you want to raise the font size uh, from 10 which is the default font size to 14 for all your table visuals or you want to use a specific set of company colors and not these colors in all of your visuals in the report uh, how you can do that in power bi you can do this using themes themes are available in the view tab under the themes section here you can go and choose one of these themes by default the default theme is selected but you can easily go and change it to another theme and when you change it you see all the configuration changes the colors the fonts the uh, appearance a lot of things actually changes when you choose that theme as you can see the theme can include background color it can include font sizes uh, the colors and everything and whenever you want to go back to the default theme the first theme here is the default theme that is how you can go back to the default theme uh, so you can easily go and choose any of these however what i have seen mostly used is when you customize these themes because um, you might use some company colors which is not here or you might want to use a specific font which is not listed here how you can customize it similar to Using another theme, customizing a theme is also quite simple. You just choose this option, customize current theme, and then uh, Power BI Desktop comes with this uh, user-friendly graphical interface. This wasn't there, let's say, two years ago. This is added uh, a little bit later. Um, and you can customize it. For example, you can choose the colors you want. If you are using some company colors, then you probably have a hex code, which you can go and enter that hex code here uh, and choose whatever colors you want. These are for some main colors, the sentiment colors. Uh, you can customize it. And there are some advanced options, colors as well for your table visuals, metrics and things like that. A theme can include colors, as you see here, and the name of your theme. The text, like for example, you may like to have the font size everywhere more than this. Let's say I change it to 12 and I might like to change the font family to something. I'll just change it so that you can see how it looks like. Um, uh, and you can choose it for different, for cards, for example, to be different, for titles to be different. You can change the visual appearance. For example, you can say all your visuals might have a background, border, Tooltip, this is not report page tooltip, this is just a simple tooltip, customization on the colors of that. Your pages, for example, do you want to have a uh, wallpaper or uh, colors, transparency of that. The filter pane, you may like the filter pane to be very similar in all of your pages rather than customizing it in every single page separately. You can come here and customize it. So you can basically customize all of these configurations as you wish after you customize it when you click on apply those changes will apply you see here for example i changed the font and the size and those have already changed uh, one important thing to do after you customize your theme is that you want to save your theme because you don't want to lose these changes uh, these changes are in this file. If I close this file uh, and open it again, I would have those changes, but a new Power BI file that I create, or if I have a report that I have created previously and I want to apply these themes on it, they will not have this theme. This theme is not saved until you go and save it. And that is why we have this option saying save current theme. It's very simple. I can click on it. It just saved that file as a JSON file, as you can see here. 
uh, as a JSON file, I can uh, save it anywhere I like. I definitely suggest you to save it in a shared folder, especially if you are working in an organization with other Power BI report developers. It is good that it be in a shared folder that other developers also have access to uh, to use it because normally one person creates the theme, everyone else is using it, not a theme for everyone. That is possible too, but normally you'll have one standard theme to use. Uh, so when you save it, how others can use it, they can go again under the same place, view, and here they would choose browse for theme, which they can go and select the theme file. And as soon as they select the theme file, that theme will be applied here. Uh, still, everyone can go and change the colors and customizations and everything they want. Uh, the theme file would make it simpler for them to have these changes applied. Um, it's definitely something I would recommend to have a more, um, more solid structure template around your visualization instead of having every page, every report uh, looking different they look more like a signature standard. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe into our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos on Power BI. Thank you.